Hey Coyotes, welcome to this week's CMS TV. I'm Sammy. And I'm Olivia. Let's get started. get tired of that intro. That's for sure. Can you believe Valentine's Day already passed? I know, right? It went by really fast. Oh, speaking of Valentine's Day, Kayla and Emery made some Valentine's Day sweet treats you should keep in mind for next time. Hey Coyotes, happy Valentine's Day. We've arranged a few Valentine's Day treats for you guys to make at home. Let's see it. To start off, we're going to be making flower bouquet Oreo pops. This recipe includes chocolate melts, preferably white, double stuffed Oreos, food coloring of your choice, and optional coconut oil. Open your chocolate melts and stir over a stove burner. We have boiling hot water in the pan beneath, so be careful. Open your Oreos and cake pop sticks, which I forgot to mention. After you've carefully slid the sticks into the Oreos, have a helping hand dip the Oreo into the fully melted chocolate. Make sure you don't spill the hot water over the stove like we did here. After trying many methods, we found styrofoam to work best when holding up our flowers. We also changed the color of the melts for variety. Finally, off camera, we decorated and arranged our bouquet and got our final product. Secondly, we're making sweetheart-inspired sugar cookies. We have pre-made cookie dough, a heart-shaped cookie cutter, icing assortments of different colors, and thin-tubed decorating gel. We coated our cutting board with flour and began to knead. After kneading our dough and rolling out, we use the cookie cutter to cut our heart shapes. Carefully pick them up, put them on a greased cookie tray, and pop in the oven for 12 minutes at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. We took them out and decorated with our icing and got our final product. Last but not least, we have the classic yet delicious chocolate-covered strawberries. You'll need fresh strawberries, chocolate chips, which we're going to melt, and optional sprinkles. Now, to dip your strawberries into the chocolate, I'm using the cake pop sticks from our first tree and sticking them towards the end of the berry. We put our water to boil again, plus our pan over top, and let that heat up. We dumped the chocolate chips and mixed them until they were melted and dipped our berries inside. We placed them on a plate to the side and finished up on the rest. Now decorate with sprinkles of your choice and serve to your valentine. Here's everything we've made together today. I hope you enjoy. Hope you guys enjoyed. This has been Kayla Vandenberg and Emery Molina reporting for CMS TV. Sending it back, back to the anchors. Now I can't wait for next Valentine's Day to make those yummy treats. I know, right? Hey, Olivia, have you noticed that construction on the road lately? Yeah, I have. What's that all about? Well, I heard they're putting new bike lanes in the road. Oh, cool. Well, actually, speaking of bikes, Sammy and I have some tips for staying safe on your e-bike when driving on the road. In Carlsbad, e-bikes are a huge part of many people's daily lives. It's possible that you or your friends will use them to commute to school each day. According to a study conducted in 2023, industry experts predict that over 300 million e-bikes will be brought home by Americans. Regretfully, research indicates there are roughly 1.4 injuries per 1,000 electric bikes annually. To improve your understanding of e-bike safety, the City of Carlsbad also provides e-bike classes. Online registration is available for e-bike courses offered at Sage Creek High School and Carlsbad High School. Riding a bike safely can be accomplished in numerous ways. Wearing a helmet is among the simplest methods. Helmets provide head protection in the case of a fall. Here are some students on campus that have been affected by a fall on their e-bikes. Hi, I'm Connor, and I was heading down College Boulevard on my e-bike while it was raining, and I slipped out going about 20, and I learned not to do such sharp turns and not to drive in the rain, or e-bike in the rain. Hi, I'm Quinn. I was riding with my friends, and I hit one of my friends and crashed and hit my head pretty hard. So now I learned to be safer when riding with friends. Hi, I'm Cooper. I crashed on my e-bike because of bee land on my foot and I hit a fence. Uh, I learned not to get distracted by bees on the road. 
Maintaining awareness of your surroundings is important when riding an e-bike. You have to drive at a safe speed and abide by all traffic laws and signs. Even with adherence to these guidelines, drivers can still pose a risk to others. The best thing you can do to safeguard others around you and yourself is to do your bit to keep safe. There were some rad suggestions in there for staying safe on the road. Ha, <laughs> get it? Like rad bikes? Obviously I get it. I told the joke. Um, anyway, you know what else is rad? Trick shots. Kaleo, Cash, Cooper, and Grant brought us some epic trick shots. Let's watch them. You got a toothpick on football and a balloon. This is a long distance bomb. Those are really cool. Sure was. Those balls are flying in the air. Yeah, speaking of flying, have you heard of the Top Gun Pie Shop? Is that one called High Pie? Yeah, that's the one. Evan and Jet went to go check it out. Let's go see it. What's up, Coyotes? Today we're at High Pie in Oceanside. Let's check it out. Located right across from the Oceanside Pier, High Pie is known for their amazing pies and residing in the same exact house featured in the world famous movie Top Gun. Hi, I'm Hannah. I'm the lead supervisor here at High Pie. So basically, High Pie is just um, a little pie shop that was started by F10, which is the restaurant right next door. And they filmed the movie in this house when the original movie came out. So whenever they're in Charlie's house, which is the girl in the movie, um, this is where they filmed it. Apart from the widely known history, High Pie creates some cutting edge pie slices that make visitors want to keep coming back. Um, so our most popular pies are apple or cherry. And then we have seasonal ones for every season. Um, and pumpkin was probably the most popular for fall. We recommend High Pie to anyone visiting the Oceanside area as they have great pies and amazing history. This is Evan and Jet reporting from High Pie in Oceanside, sending it back to the anchors. That place looks delicious. Next, we have Miss Laura in the studio talking about an important campus issue, which is vandalism. Let's get ready to learn. Hey, Coyotes, I'm Jay, and I'm here with Miss Laura, and we're going to be talking about vandalism problems at this school. Uh, what kinds of vandalism problems do we hear, have here at our school? Mostly, it's two things, people who write on stuff and people who break stuff. Those are both types of vandalism that are ongoing. Okay, and what can students do to help stop this problem? Well, it would be nice if people stopped writing on things and stopped breaking things, but I think more importantly, it's that if you see someone doing something like that, that you tell an adult that that's what happened. That's witness statements are great for that because they tend to be anonymous, and the only way we're going to end it is if we figure out who's behind it and we can get them to stop. Okay, thank you. Yeah. I'll send it back to the anchors. Thanks, Ms. Laura, for that information. Next, Luca, Kingston, and Jesse went to Sneaker Lounge to see what it's all about. Today, Jesse, Luca, and I went down to Carlsbad Mall to check out Sneaker Lounge. Sneaker Lounge is located on the second story by the main entrance of the mall. Hi, guys. It's Joe from Sneaker Lounge here. Um, 
Over here we do sell shoes, uh, clothing, all the basic stuff that you guys need. Yeah, so the most popular shoe we have sold, honestly, is going to be the Panda Nike Dunk. Um, it's just a black and white colorway. It's super easy to match with, so a lot of people like this one. And it's very cheap, honestly, for like a, a good shoe. So in Sneaker Lounge, we sell a bunch of sneakers, as you can see behind me, as well as clothing like Essentials. We have Hellstar, Spider, um, what else? Revenge. We have Bape and Supreme. Yeah, so we've been open for about six months. We have a location here in the Carlsbad Mall as well as one in Temecula. Huge thanks to Joe from Sneaker Lounge. Now sending it back to the anchors. I'll definitely need to check that out when I need some new kicks. Yeah, and also remember, we have this Friday and next Monday off for President's Day weekend. So have fun and rest up. That was a great show. I know, right? Well, see you next time, Coyotes. Bye! Bye.